you know, Jen, well before um, the Gaza conflict and well before the protests, several months ago, we reported on the violence, the, the assault, um, people breaking into the dorms at night, guns, women being held uh, with guns to their head. And now we see where someone just recently was on his way to campus and was tapped on the shoulder. And he thought it was a friend and turned around. It was two thugs who just savagely beat him, beat him for his Gucci belt and all his clothing and his attire. And you just think about this. This is in the state, the nation's capital. This could not happen at George Washington and Georgetown and American. Why is this happening at Howard University where these kids who are there to learn must live in fear, must live in this constant on the lookout that they're being beat. And they're not beaten by these, this, these people like Derek Chauvin uh, and when it comes to George Floyd, they're being beaten by people they would say of their own. It, is the bar lower because it's black on black crime? Does Howard University get a pass and these kids live in this fear and this constant threat every day? This needs to change. This should be a learning environment, not a criminal activity environment.